Hello, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless us. How are you? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I pray for all of us that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, and that His mercies, which are new every morning, overshadow us and our families in the name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome to Day 27 of the 70 Days Prayer and Fasting Program. We are in Section 3. Father, make me a divine phenomenon. I pray that the Lord who looks at the heart and not at the outward appearance will make us all divine phenomenons in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. When I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost, how he healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how he picked me up and turned me around, how he set my feet on solid ground, it makes me want to shout, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all the honor. It makes me want to shout, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah. Someone shout thank you, Jesus. Let's go ahead and praise him because he is worthy. He's worthy of all the glory. He's worthy of all the honor. Let's go ahead and praise his name because he is the one, the who is the one who was and the one who is to come. He's worthy to be praised. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end, the first and the last. There is no other God like him. He is the King of glory. He's the Lord of hosts, the one who's never lost a battle. He is the omnipotent God. He is the omniscient God. He is the omnipresent God. He's all-knowing. He's all-powerful and he is everywhere. He is worthy to be praised. He makes the impossible possible. He is the one who heals the incurable diseases. He is our healer. He's our provider. He is our deliverer. Let's go ahead and praise his name. Let's go ahead and give him all the glory. Give him all the honor because he is worthy to be praised. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we've worshipped him. Amen. Let's go ahead and repent and confess our sins. It is written in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12, that the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. We do not want the face of the Lord to be against us. And we know that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We want the eyes of the Lord to be upon us and his ears attentive to our prayer. So let's go ahead and start to ask for forgiveness. Lord, we repent of any sin in our lives that's causing you to turn your face away from us. Any sin, oh Lord God, that is preventing you from hearing our prayer today. Any sin in us, in our families, in our lineage, in our bloodline, any sin, oh Lord God, any iniquity that would cause you to turn your face away from us, Lord, have mercy on us and forgive us of those sins, Lord, remove those sins from us as far as the east is from the west, look not upon our sins, oh Lord, have mercy on us, oh Lord God, have mercy and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, we've asked for forgiveness and we are forgiven by his mercy, amen. Let's cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We cover ourselves and our families with the blood of Jesus. We cover anything and everything that pertains to us and our families with the blood of Jesus. We saturate our homes, our offices, our places of work, our environment, our 
modes of transportation. We soak them all in the blood of Jesus. We saturate them with the blood of Jesus and we laminate them with the blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves and our families with the healing, delivering, protecting blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We will go on to our scripture reading of First Samuel 17. First Samuel 17. Then we'll read our scripture confession, Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 16 to 17. We will sing our devotional hymns. We will enter into praise and thanksgiving and then round off with our deliverance prayers. Amen. Now you're listening to us, you're praying along with us, and perhaps you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or you just want to rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus. Repeat after me, please. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins, and I invite you to come into my heart and into my life. I want to trust and follow you, Lord Jesus. I accept you, Lord Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Congratulations. You have eternal life in Christ Jesus and welcome to the kingdom of God. Amen. Now on to our scripture reading, 1 Samuel chapter 17. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 17. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle, and were gathered together at Shoko, which belongeth to Judah, and pitched between Shoko and Azekah in Ephes Damim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had an helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed six hundred shekels of iron. And one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am not I a Philistine, and ye servants to Saul? Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem, Judah, whose name was Jesse, and he had eight sons. And the man went among men for an old man in the days of Saul. And the three eldest sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, and next unto him Abinadab, and the third Shammah. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And the Philistine drew near morning and evening, and presented himself forty days. And Jesse said unto David his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of this parched corn, and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to thy brethren, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fare, and take their pledge. Now Saul and they, and all the men of Israel, were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose up early in the morning, and left the sheep with the keeper, and took and went as Jesse had commanded him, And he came to the trench, as the host was going forth to the fight, and shouted for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage, and ran into the army, and came and saluted his brethren. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled before him, and were sore afraid. 
And the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that has come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches, and will give him his daughter, and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. And Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spake unto the men, and Eliab's anger was kindled against David. And he said, Why camest thou down hither? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thine heart, for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another, and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put an helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. And he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had, even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag, and took thence a stone, and slang it, and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines until thou come to the valley and to the gates of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way to Shearaim, even unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem. But he put his armor in his tent.
And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son the stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And David answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse the Bethlehemite. Now for the scripture confession, Jeremiah 30, verses 16 to 17. Jeremiah 30, verses 16 to 17. Amen. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, says the Lord. Because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, after whom no man seeketh after. Amen. Let's go ahead and personalize that. Amen? Amen. Therefore, all they that devour me shall be devoured, and all mine adversaries every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil me shall be a spoil, and all they that prey upon me will God give for a prey. For God will restore health unto me, and will heal me of my wounds. That is what the Lord said. Because they called me an outcast, saying, This is Zion, after whom no man seeketh after. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I've been to the river, I've been baptized, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. I've been changed from the creature that once I was, and redeemed is now my name. I've been changed, I've been, changed, I've been newborn, all my life has been sins were as scarlet, they're white as snow. I was bound, but today I am free. I was lost in the darkness, but now I am found. I was blind, but now I see. I've been changed, I've been, changed, I've been newborn. All my life has been rearranged. What a difference it made when the Lord came and stayed in my heart. Oh yes, I've been changed. Like the poor Hebrew children, I wandered long in a bare desert land to and fro. But I've crossed over Jordan to Canaan's land, where the milk and honey flow. When at last in His presence I stand above, He will wipe all the tears from my eyes. Thank you for giving 
To God be the glory, great things he has done, great things he's doing, and great things he will continue to do in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we'll go ahead and say our praise prayers. Amen? Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for drawing me to prayer and power. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for baptizing me with the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for producing spiritual gifts upon my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the fruit of the Spirit working in me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonderful gift of praise. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all the ways you've intervened in my affairs. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your divine plan for my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you will never leave me nor forsake me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for bringing me to a place of maturity and deeper life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for lifting me up when I fall. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for keeping me in perfect peace. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for making all things work together for good for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for protecting me from the snares of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonder-working power in your word and in the blood of the Lamb. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for giving your angels charge over me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for fighting for me against my adversaries. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for making me more than a conqueror. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for supplying all my needs according to your riches and glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your healing power upon my body, soul, and spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for flooding my heart with the light of heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for always causing me to triumph in Christ Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for turning my curses into blessings. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for enabling me to dwell in safety. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all the blessings of life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your greatness, your power, your glory, your majesty, your splendor, and your righteousness. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for silencing the foe and the avenger. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you are at my right hand and I shall not be moved. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you are trustworthy and will help your own. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for not allowing my enemies to rejoice over me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your wonderful love. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you are great and greatly to be praised. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for delivering my soul from death and my feet from stumbling. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, for you are my fortress and refuge in time of trouble. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your faithfulness and marvelous deeds. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your act of power and surpassing greatness. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for dispersing spiritual blindness from my spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for lifting me out of the depths. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for preserving me and keeping my feet from slipping. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your name is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and he is safe. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your name is a strong tower. Me and my family are righteous through Christ Jesus. We run into your name, the strong tower, and we are safe in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. They were gathered in an upper chamber as commanded by the risen Lord. And the promise of the Father, where they sought with one accord. When the Holy Ghost from heaven descended, like a rushing wind and tongues of fire. So, dear Lord, we seek thy blessing. Come with glory, now our hearts inspire. Let the fire fall, let the fire fall, let the fire from heaven fall. We are waiting and expecting, now in faith, dear Lord, we call. Let the fire fall, let the fire fall, on thy promise we depend. From the glory of thy presence, let the Pentecost so fire descend. Wicked enemies assigned to amputate my destiny and the destiny of my family members die by fire in the name of Jesus. Wicked enemies assigned to amputate my destiny and the destiny of my family members die by fire, die by fire, die, 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 die in the name of Jesus, die. Wicked enemies assigned to amputate my destiny and the destiny of my family members die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers seeking for my shame and the shame of my family, die for our sake in the name of Jesus. Powers seeking for my shame and the shame of my family members, die for our sake, die for our sake, die for our sake in the name of Jesus. Powers seeking for my shame and the shame of my family members, die for our sake in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh God, arise. Let the former reign the latter rain and your abundant blessings fall upon my life and my family in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise. O oh God, arise. Let the former rain, the latter rain, and your abundant blessings fall upon my life and my family. Fall upon my life and my family. Fall, fall upon my life and my family in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise. O oh God, arise. Let the latter rain the former rain, and your abundant blessings fall upon my life and my family in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. O oh God, arise and burn the enemies of my joy to ashes in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise, burn the enemies of my joy and the enemies of the joy of my family members. Burn them to ashes. Burn them to ashes. Burn them to ashes in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise, burn the enemies of my joy and burn the enemies of the joy of my family members to ashes in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Father, let my enemies begin to run when no one is pursuing them in the name of Jesus. Father, let my enemies and the enemies of my family members begin to run, begin to run, begin to run when no one is pursuing them in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, let my enemies and the enemies of my family members begin to run when there's no one pursuing them in the name of Jesus. Amen. My eyes open and see the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. My eyes, my eyes, and the eyes of my family members open, 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 and see the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. My eyes, my eyes, and the eyes of my family members open, 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 and see the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every time in my dream life and in the dream life of my family members, my Father, my God, appear and defend us in the name of Jesus. Every time in my dream life and in the dream lives of my family members, my Father, my God, appear and defend us, appear and defend us, appear and defend us in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, every time in my dream life and in the dream life of my family members, oh God, appear and defend us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Communication gadget of darkness, transferring my information and the information of my family, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Communication gadget of darkness, transferring my information and the information of my family members, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Communication gadget of darkness, transferring my information and the information of my family members, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Camera of darkness, taking my pictures and the pictures of my family members in the dark world, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Camera of darkness, taking my pictures and the pictures of my family members in the dark world, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Camera of darkness, taking my pictures and the pictures of my family members in the dark world, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any negative power programmed into my head and to the head into the heads of my family members, jump out and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any negative power programmed into my head and into the heads of my family members, jump out and die, jump out and die, jump out and die in the name of Jesus. Any negative power programmed into my head and into the heads of my family members, jump out and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh God, arise and destroy the poisons in my foundation in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Destroy the poisons in my foundation and in the foundation of my family members in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Destroy the poisons. Destroy the poisons. Destroy the poisons in my foundation and in the foundation of my family members in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers. Assigned to use my life and my family as a dumping ground, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to use my life and the lives of my family members as a dumping ground, die, 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 die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to use my life and the lives of my family members as a dumping ground, die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spiritual River Jordan, separating me and my family from our blessings, dry up and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Spiritual River Jordan, separating me and my family from our blessings, dry up and die, dry up and die, dry up and die, 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 die by fire in the name of Jesus. Spiritual River Jordan, separating me and my family from our blessings, dry up and die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every witchcraft mortar pounding my destiny and the destiny of my family while we sleep, break the head of the pounder in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft mortar pounding my destiny and the destiny of my family while we sleep, break the head of the pounder, break the head of the pounder in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft mortar pounding my destiny and the destiny of my family members while we sleep, break the head of the pounder. In the name of Jesus, 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Arrows of destruction traveling at night towards my household. Turn back and kill your sender in the name of Jesus. Arrows of destruction traveling at night towards my household and the household of my family members. Turn back and kill your sender. Turn back and kill your sender in the name of Jesus. Arrows of destruction traveling at night towards my household and the households of my family members. Turn back and kill your senders in the name of Jesus. Amen. Night rituals targeted against my promotion, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Night rituals targeted against my promotion and the promotion of my family members, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Night rituals targeted against my promotion and the promotion of my family members, catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Every prophet of doom, Chanting incantation against me and my family. Run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Every prophet of doom. Chanting incantation against me and my family. Run mad and die. Run mad and die. Run mad and die. Die, die, die in the name of Jesus. Die. Every prophet of doom. Chanting incantation against me and my family. Run mad and die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Satanic bullets. Lodging in my body and in the bodies of my family members, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Satanic bullets lodging in my body and in the bodies of my family members, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Satanic bullets lodging in my body and in the bodies of my family members, catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every timetable of the enemy drawn up to kill me and my family catch fire in the name of jesus every timetable of the enemy drawn up to kill me and my family catch fire catch fire catch fire in the name of jesus every timetable of the enemy drawn up to kill me and my family catch fire in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen every ancient and stubborn bondage in my life and in the lives of my family members, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every ancient and stubborn bondage in my life and in the lives of my family members, break by fire, break by thunder, break by lightning, break, 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 break in the name of Jesus, break. Every ancient and stubborn bondage in my life and in the lives of my family members, break by fire, break by thunder, break, 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 break in the name of Jesus, break. Amen. Oh God, my father, send angel Gabriel to announce my deliverance in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, send angel Gabriel to announce my deliverance and the deliverance of my family members in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, send angel Gabriel, send angel Gabriel, send angel Gabriel to announce my deliverance and the deliverance of my family members in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise and force feed my enemies with gravels and stones to their destruction in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Force feed my enemies and the enemies of my family with gravels and stones to their destruction in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Force feed my enemies. Force feed the enemies of my family members with gravels and stones to their destruction in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every demonic mat used against my glory, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic mat used against my glory and against the glory of my family members, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic mat used against my glory and against the glory of my family members, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every shrine demon operating against my life and my family, I bind you and cast you out in the name of Jesus. Every shrine demon operating against my life and against my family, I bind you and cast you out. I bind you and cast you out. I bind you and cast you out in the name of Jesus. Every shrine demon operating against my life and against my family, I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dragons of the enemy pursuing my star and the star of my family members. Oh, sword of the living God, slay them in the name of Jesus. Dragons of the enemy pursuing my star and the star of my family members. Sword of the living God, slay them, slay them, slay them in the name of Jesus. Dragons of the enemy pursuing my star and the star of my family members. Oh, sword of the living God, slay them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every goat in the manger of my destiny, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every goat in the manger of my destiny and the destiny of my family members, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every goat in the manger of my destiny and the destiny of my family members, catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Arrows of God, arise. Locate those who are seeking for my nakedness and the nakedness of my family in the name of Jesus. Arrows of God, arise, arise, arise. Locate those who are seeking for my nakedness and the nakedness of my family members in the name of Jesus. Arrows of God, arise, arise, arise. Locate those who are seeking for my nakedness and the nakedness of my family members in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, let all my seven enemies fall into darkness and dryness in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let all my seven enemies and the seven enemies of my family fall into darkness and dryness, fall into darkness and dryness, fall into darkness and dryness in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let all my seven enemies and the seven enemies of my family members fall into darkness and dryness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We have seen, we have seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. We have seen, we have seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for answers to our prayers. We cover ourselves, our families with the blood of Jesus. We cover our prayers, the answers to our prayers, and our testimonies with the blood of Jesus. Any wicked imagination against our prayers be destroyed by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us say the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Three glorious hallelujahs for what the Lord has done today. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God bless us. Amen.